to our next home base, which is Rovaniemi, Finland, which is up north in the Lapland region of Finland. So very much winter wonderland up here. It's colder than it was in Helsinki and obviously anywhere we've been prior to this. So we are kicking the day off and the month off with a little husky snow dog excursion. This is one of the most popular excursions that people do when they come to this region. So we're really excited. I obviously love dogs so much. I'm so excited to just see them and see what this experience is all about. We are just loving it. And I know it sounds crazy to come to Finland in the middle of winter, but I think this is my favorite thing we've ever done. It's so unique, it's so magical. There's only like four or five hours of daylight, but the skies are just like pink right now. And it's, it's cozy, it's cozy. So we have lots of twinkle lights in our apartment. We're very much leaning into the Hugo lifestyle. And I'm just, I'm thriving, I love it. So we're gonna go meet some snow dogs and I'm taking you along with us. We booked this experience with Get Your Guide and it was run by Nordic Unique Travels. We went to the tour company's office in town, put on some snowsuits which were included with the tour, and then headed off to the reindeer and husky farm. Here we go. At the farm, we got to see where the Huskies lived. Thankfully, they love the cold because we were sitting comfortably at a negative three degree Fahrenheit temperature today. Before the excursion began, we got a lesson on how to drive the dog sled since we were going to be the ones driving and not the guides. He's practicing. When you stop the sled, sometimes the sled gets stuck in the snow, so you need to just do like that, then nothing happens. You need to just push the sled a bit. Once you push it a bit, the dogs can feel it and they just go immediately. And soon enough, it was time to meet our team. Here we go. Hi, cutie. All right, Steven's driving. I'm the passenger. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> All right, babe. Here we go. Go, Jackie, go! Go, Jackie! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Wow! They're so good! You guys are doing Oh my god! 
Here we Hope go. It goes all right. <laughs> I've turned into a, a snow princess. Look at your eyelashes. So Jess is gonna drive. All right. Oh, look at those doggies oh, playing. The oh They're yes. They're so cute. Look at this view. We're in the Arctic, guys. Wow. Hi. <laughs> All as far as I can go. Here we are. Oh my gosh, I'm driving. <laughs> Doing great pay. <laughs> Sign us up for the Olympics. Oh my God. All right, break a little bit, Faye. Break, break, break. With frozen eyelashes and all, we made it back to the farm. The ride lasted about one hour and we made sure to give our doggies some lovin'. Thank you for driving us. That was a big job. Hey, my friends. I ran with you guys. Did you know? Oh, this is a snuggle muffin. Oh, kisses. 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 <laughs> Frosty. <laughs> juice time. Yeah, we got some yummy juice. Cheers. It's like a. <laughs> Delicious. I don't even know what flavor this is. And gingerbread cookies with a snap. So good. So good. I just want to have these poor kids are literally sitting by the fire crying because it was so cold. It was painful out there, but the most amazing experience I've ever done in my entire life. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a debrief soon once my camera defrosts because my camera literally died because it was so cold. I'll take your kids here. <laughs> yeah, probably not. You now saw the Huskies. Probably, I mean, some of you might have expected different Huskies. Blue eyes, white dogs, right? Really nice for Instagram pictures. Right, that, that would be Siberian Husky. We don't have Siberian Huskies, we have Alaskan Huskies. The difference is that the Siberians are really nice for pictures and photos, but they are not really good at running long distances. The Siberians had three functions. The first, the first to pull the slab. Second was to protect the camp of the natives. And the third was to keep the women and children warm. Alaskan Husky was bred only for racing. It's like Ferrari, turn the key, it runs. They were bred out of multiple breeds. You could notice each dog looks totally different. Pointers, Labrador, Husky, whatever. That's because they took the best of each breed and put it together and created Alaskan Husky. The Alaskans are mid-range. Is she okay? It's cool. have to 
to debrief the Husky experience because that was just unbelievable. It was like a once in a lifetime, never thought that would ever kind of happen experience. So basically how this experience worked that we booked, we booked it through Get Your Guide. Yeah. There was a short version and a long version right. of the experience. We ended up doing the long one. We only did Huskies today. Um, and they explained to you what to do. Steven's taking off his snow pants in the ready background. for the sauna. This is, this is really realistic. Okay. So they tell you what to do and one person's gonna be driving and then you could fit two adults or two children in the sled. Um, so obviously it's just the two of us and Steven started driving at the beginning and then you can switch halfway through. So I drove as well. It was crazy. The only job you do is you hold on and you brake and that's pretty much it so yeah no um, steering or anything i know steering the dogs like the guy said the dogs know what to do so they'll just go and then uh you just make sure they don't crash into anything by you know just keeping some space they and, will keep running if you don't break them so yeah yeah and uh but yeah i mean pretty much when you when you start it's basically like starting a car and then just gunning it because uh I felt like I almost flew off right initially in the beginning because I mean that's when the dogs have all the energy and then you know it's like when that snowmobile goes off you know they get up and then when it starts moving you're moving and it just you just go and uh yeah just make sure you're wearing a uh, warm clothes yeah. you're lucky to have onesies yeah for the, uh, from the tour company that supplied it for us yeah yeah it's, I'm gonna uh, move this over here <laughs> yeah but uh but yeah I mean it was an amazing experience. I mean, it's probably one of the best things I've ever done. I mean, when you're out yeah. there, I mean, everything is white, covered, and frozen. I mean, there's really no, like, snow with dirt kicked up on it. It's just, like... It is winter, as white. winter could be. It's amazing. I think the uh, best accessory that we picked up were some icy eyelashes and <laughs> some, some silver hair. I loved our doggies. Um, while we were out there, we had a really unexpected um, thing happen. So we were we were going through the forest. We were keeping an eye on the, the snowmobile and all that kind of stuff. And he was slowing down around a corner and actually just went to a full on stop, which is kind of weird. When I kind of peeked through, you could actually see like two or three reindeer, actual like full on white wild reindeer that were in the trail. And the dogs also caught wind of that. Um, because but we, only our dogs, thank God. <laughs> yeah, because, and then so they started bolting. I put both feet on the brake. Yeah, two um, feet on this like middle piece of the brake. Told them, and I mean, they were gunning for those reindeer and it was the funniest thing. And yeah. then, uh, I mean, there was the sunrise, sunset. Can't really tell which one it is because... Yeah, there's only four hours of daylight. So basically when we started the tour, it was sunrise. And yeah. then by the time the tour was ending, it was sunset. It was so wild. Right. It's a very surreal experience to be out there because you obviously see it on mm -hmm. in videos like this or on social yeah. media or in National Geographic documentaries. But to be out there, yeah. it's just... It was so jarring and so beautiful. Like, I... I could cry just thinking about it. It was so amazing. I would just say, if you can, like bring, I would bring warm gloves. That was like my only thing I wish I did differently. Well, but... these kids that were on the tour, they were screaming and crying afterwards because their little feet and hands were like completely red and frozen. And yeah. it's just like, yeah. There were some little, clothes. there were some little kids <clears throat> on there. Only a few, but I just, I don't know if it really would be the best experience for kids that small just because it it is so cold it's so beautiful and if you can handle it for 30 minutes or an hour like we did yeah. then absolutely do it but if you can't like it would really be a painful experience like yeah. that was so cold i think like when i was driving my fingers went numb it kind of freaks me out a little bit when that right. happens toes, and toes were went numb, numb. Yeah. Um, face is like kind of like a freeze burn <laughs> feeling so it's but not the dogs loved it you know <laughs> yeah and that also that to say yeah the dogs live for this climate right. like they do not like warm they love the cold 
they were like rolling in the snow, they're laying on the ice, they, they love it. As long yeah. as you can handle the cold, a little bit of sting and burn and numb. It's so worth it. <laughs> it was so incredible and the dogs were so sweet. We stayed behind to pet our little, our little doggies and they were so cute. We got a few kisses. The one gave us kisses. <laughs> I love her so much, but yeah. now it was awesome. We are on such a high. We're going to be talking about this like all week long because Probably. we're just so hyped up. But um, yeah, I just wanted to take a minute to debrief that on video because this was a special experience. Like yeah. that was just one of the most unique things I've ever done, if not the most unique. So I can't believe that happened. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm in so much awe right now, but we are going to go warm up in our little sauna that we have in our, this Airbnb. That's a very normal thing, by the way. Time to warm up. <laughs> yeah, that's a normal thing in um, Finnish apartments is a lot of them have saunas, which is crazy. So a lot of the Airbnbs um, have them and it's, you know, I think it was like the same price as ones that didn't. So. Mm -hmm. I'm very thankful and we're gonna go warm up because I'm I still it's feel time. this layer of cold under my, my skin. My toes are freezing as we're sitting here. Yes, but, but thank you so much for watching. That was so much fun and... Time to go warm up. Bye! Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Bye! The sauna was absolutely needed after an experience like that. Once we warmed up, we ordered some food delivery and watched Disney's 2002 classic Snow Dogs to end off the night. Later in the month, we revisited that same farm and got to do the reindeer safari. Your reindeer name? Kungen. Kungen? Kungen. 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 Very cute. So fun. So fun. <laughs> we're going reindeer sledding today. Look who we're hanging out with. What are you doing? Oh good, our reindeer's pink. Oh, very nice. He's got to empty the tank before we go. I mean, honestly. Hey, buddy. All right, here Whoa. we go. Whoa. Whoa. He's so ready. He's ready. Everybody's ready to go. Yay. Here we are. Oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fast guy. No snack. <laughs> My favorite travel company here in Finland is Safertika. That's the best name I ever heard. <laughs> wow. He's so cool. <clears throat> After our sleigh ride, we went back into a little cozy cabin to sit by the fire and have some hot juice and cinnamon rolls. Our guide told us lots of interesting facts about reindeer, 
And something that stood out to me was that all of the reindeer in Finland actually belong to someone. Even if they're out in the wild, they still belong to one of the reindeer herders, and the herders keep track of them with bells or even GPS trackers. Yo. We had to stop because the dogs, you know, were... Yeah, yeah they want to, they they, want to go to chase it, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, was that probably owned by the farm, or was that something that could have been wild? Or? Mm, no. Here is, uh, they are not gathering the reindeers in home fences here in, yeah. in this area. Yeah. So they, they still are in the forest. Mm-hmm. Or oh, some reindeer herders, of course, when they start feeding them in certain places, sometimes it happens that the reindeer leaves in that place. So the reindeer herder is in a big trouble because he is missing yeah. one reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it belongs to someone. Yeah. yeah. Another fun fact is that the male reindeer do in fact shed off these huge, heavy sets of antlers once per year. So once we learned all about these beautiful creatures, we had one final thing to do, and that was give the reindeer some snacks. So that wraps up our time at the reindeer and husky farm. I'm going to leave you with some adorable clips of the little husky puppies. And I hope you enjoyed going on these winter excursions in Rovaniemi with us. Look at that guy over there. He's just sitting. Stay tuned for one more Finland vlog all about Santa Claus Village. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so we can keep going on adventures together. Until next time, I'll see you then.